Hi, uh, I'm uh, Leif Mohamed. I'm from Algeria. Hi, my name is Lisa, and um, I'm from EdgeTech. <laughs> Hello, my name is uh, Usama Khazimi. I'm from Algeria. My name is Mohamed Samhaji. I'm uh, with EdgeTech. Hello, I'm uh, Adel Farmif. Uh, I'm a geophysicist from Algiers. My name is Jian Lin. I am a geophysicist. I study the Earth. We're here uh, by an invitation from Woods Hole to participate in this um, expedition that uh, has so many disciplinary act, disciplinary, uh, act into it. Uh, uh, we are excited to be part of this team. We are working with some uh, world experts in, in archaeology, in, in, in geology, uh, some, uh, some expert world-known divers. Uh, so we are very proud uh, to be part of this. Underwater archaeology really started right here on this shipwreck about 1900. Uh, sponge divers found this wreck full of, uh, full of treasures, statues, like 36 statues of marble and bronze, uh, objects of art, glass, gold jewelry, uh, and of course the Antikythera mechanism, which I think is the, the most significant, the most important archaeological artifact ever discovered anywhere. I'm an archaeologist of the effort of underwater antiquities of the Ministry of Culture of Greece. We are here in Western Crete with Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution uh, to survey the two peninsulas of Rhodopos and Gramvusa and also the area of Antikythera we worked last year uh, using diving, technical diving, uh, sonar mapping and uh, multi-beam mapping in order to plot our results on a bathymetric map of the area we plan to survey. It's a, a groundbreaking project because we're using several different fields of uh, specialty. We're using underwater archaeology, um, technical diving, using rebreathers and diver propulsion vehicles and mixed gases, and uh, commercial diving of working underwater and effectively splicing them all together. This is a electronically controlled rebreather which allows us to breathe the best mix regardless of the depth down to the maximum operational depth we have which is 70 meters and uh, thus we can be much safer than using standard scuba equipment. Right next to our rebreather there is a diver propulsion vehicle, a, v a DPV, which allows us to cover long distances without, without actually being tired. <laughs> Nothing else is that blue. It just so happens that the archaeology and geology really go hand in hand. For example, when the earthquake causes some places to go down, and then the city also went down. When the city went down, that is a great site for mapping archaeology. But also at the times, earthquake will cause uplift. The seeds could come up the several uh, meters. In that case, we might also see some of the artifacts uh, offshore. 
So archaeology and geology, I think, go hand in hand. My role here is to learn about uh, the uh, sonar technology and uh, edge tech sonar. I also try to help uh, to the, the survey. And um, I'm interested to, to learn more about this uh, technology and uh, also uh, about the, the, um, the geology of, uh, of the, this uh, area. And I think I. I've learned many things, a lot of things, and I'm really lucky to, to be there in this uh, amazing project. It's Don and Kissimmee, and we're heading out to Antikythera. These are the two guys who are going to answer the big questions for us. These are our technical divers, our diving operations manager, Phil Short, and Alexandro Sotiriou. They're going to do the dives down to 50 meters, 60 meters, to see what's on the seafloor over the shelf break. Phil, what are you thinking? So we're going to go back to uh, Antikythera where we were last year and uh, try and tie up some loose ends. We're going to dive uh, site about 300 meters from our work site last year based on new evidence that we found from the Cousteau journals and hopefully go back to another site about another 200 meters further north than that where an object was noted by Alexander last year to uh, check it out and uh, maybe recover it if it's uh, something of interest.
So they reacquire that, make sure it's there, take another look at it, get some pictures of it, and then proceed around that corner. Mm. And uh, I think just around the corner is where the statues came from. Mm. And then a little farther south where we were last year, there's all those other artifacts. So. Part of the reason we're here at Antikythera this year is to answer those two outstanding questions that came out of last year's research program. And we need to uh, develop new sponsors for the next phase of operations here, which would include excavation, certainly, of, of more of the shipwreck, more of the sediments, to see what's down there. So next year, if all goes well, we'll have the funding to come back here and continue the excavations, uh, continue the investigations of the shipwreck at Antikythera.